Okay, just about done here with, with the record collection. Um, just a little bit left to do. What I have is um, these albums I'd already filed out alphabetically. I have, and, you know, by the time I, I was showing these, so this is stuff that I've been showing on the early morning show. And, well, now I'm just going to have to put them in a box of just a conglomeration and then file them. These here are the albums that I'm going to take with me. Uh, because they're my most valuable albums. I probably miss some, but, you know, I, I do know those are worth a lot. And there's a few, maybe they're not worth as much, but they're kind of sentimental or some autographs. So, uh, you know what? I got a box. Why don't we just, let's take a look at some of these that I want to make sure that I take with me. So, Aphrodite's, the band Mofi. We got Elvis Costello, this year's model Mofi, uh, David Crosby. Dang, that, that thing goes for a lot. Um, Dead Milkman, an original. Dead Milkman, uh, Bielsba. Then we have uh, Blue Reed, John Cale. That one's not worth as much, but I really, really, really like it. And so I want to keep that here. Ah. Uh, Ah, and this. things are always falling down. Okay, uh, this doesn't have the cover, but it is an original of Black Flag, a damaged. Uh, we have, this. these are autographed uh, Lutzit. Uh, Jacob uh, sent me these from uh, Denmark, and there is Uflorenzen, autographed. Just one of my all-time favorite albums. Not worth like tons, but I love it. Bob Dylan, uh, Oh Mercy Mofi. Uh, there it is, The Misfits. We all know about that one. An original, uh, Jane's Addiction. A nice original from Bill Young. And The Cramps. You know, it's. I tried to keep these boxes $80 or above. It's kind of, you know, this one is not, again, like a couple of them. It's just a favorite album. So I wanted to have it with me. Now, of course, this means when I move and finally start putting away my collection... I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to put away. All right. The Feelies, which goes for an incredible amount of money, which seems kind of crazy. Uh, generic Flipper. We have Uskadu, Everything Falls Apart. Nice original. Uskadu, New Day Rising. Nice original. Uh, Uskadu Zen Arcade. Uh, Jefferson Airplane's Realistic Pillow, MoFi. Sonic Youth, uh, Confusion is Sex, original. There we have Alice in Chains original. Uh, this is a big story. This is a reissue, but the vinyl is original. Same with the Suicide. The reissue cover, original vinyl. And that vinyl is very spendy. Next, oh. MacArthur. We have uh, Spirit of Elijah, Steve Miller Band, uh, MoFi, uh, Psycho King, uh, uh, Jesus and Mary Chain, uh, again, um, that one, uh, or, or original, uh, I have uh, original vinyl, uh, The Zombies, Oracle and Odyssey, The uh, Nightcrawlers, The Little Blue, The Little Black Egg, there we have the Gary Newman, Splinter, those triple digits. Uh, Mofi, Adam Hart Mother. Mofi, Pink Floyd, The Wall. Pink Floyd uh, in Berlin. This thing goes for an incredible amount of money, too. Uh, bootleg. Pixies Original of uh, Bossa Nova. Pixies, Surfer Rosa, The Replacements, Let It Be. Some of these just, it's, it blows my mind what, what they go for. You know, what I had originally bought them for, it's like, wow. Uh, replacements, sorry, Ma, forgot to take out the trash. I bought all these when they originally came out. Uh, Pink Floyd, uh, there it is, Amano, their first. Uh, the Remains, nice copy. Uh, here we have, who the, 
Oh, yeah, Beastie Boys, Paul's Boutique. This one, the flood didn't touch it. It was just crazy. It was dry. Uh, now, the records around it were all soaked. I don't know. Uh, the Descendants, the original. Milo goes to college. Pearl Jam, an original. Never mind the Bullocks. Here's the Sex Pistols, an original. Sonic Youth Goo. Uh, this is the album jacket. It did survive the flood. It's a little dirty, but overall, it's not bad. No rips or tears. Uh, we have Spaceman 3. The Saints. I'm Stranded. Another Spaceman 3. This is a case where I have the original vinyl. So, saving that. Uh, Iggy and Stooges. I really like um, these Amazon boxes. I mean, you can't... You can see the pictures at the start. I did a mixture. I, I, I did. Uh, albums like these, very valuable. I wanted there. Those boxes definitely are sturdier. Much better. The Stooges. Fun House. All nice originals. Uh, Jim Sullivan. Nirvana in utero. That one, again, it is a case of original and the cover's not tears for fear so many seeds for love mofi that thing goes for a stupid amount of money and a super tramp go ahead go get another box let's hold on one little tip, uh, Daryl Vickers out of uh, Canada, uh, off off the beaten track, suggested this, and you know he's he's moved records. I mean, we're talking in the thousands, but he said he puts a like a a uh, record sleeve, maybe that you're not going to use, or you could put blank cardboard in front of these records. So if anything, there's at least something there, something were to happen. Give it a little bit more protection. I thought that was a good idea. You know, I have a lot of those, uh, you know, we use when we ship stuff out. Blank ones that I usually use as artwork uh, when I ship uh, records. So, yeah, good good thought. Thank you, Daryl. I appreciate that. Very well done. I got the next box. And, you know, the other thing with these, again, these, these, these were expensive. There's no doubt about it. Uh, and, you know, I... Couldn't do the whole collection. I wouldn't recommend to anybody unless you've got a lot of extra income to do. But they're a little bit smaller, which means they're a little bit lighter. From what I can lift, this doesn't hurt as bad as some of the other ones. So I, I do like that aspect of them. I, and obviously just they are, they are a ton sturdier because you do have the two sides. You know, you fold this up so there's um, two sides. The bottom has two pieces on the bottom. It, Definitely is a very, very sturdy box. So finishing up the good stuff. Got wire, thick flag, velvet underground. This is the original because an original original, and I have the original there. Uh, it does have the picture on the back that was airbrushed out. Velvet Underground, uh, white light, white heat, velvet underground loaded, velvet underground, velvet underground. Uh, Luna Penthouse. I just love that album and I want to have it with me. The Water Boys. My all time favorites, as you know. X. This is Dean and Britta. Not a super expensive, but it's autographed by Britta. Actually, it's just Britta. Steve Martin, Edie Burkell. Autographed by them. Saw them in concert. They autographed it. Uh, we have uh, Zamrock. Uh, at the eyes. Uh, this is Ricky Ilaganga. And we have moving from which this is the most expensive stuff that Zam those Zamrock albums by far worst shape, most expensive. And finishing up Mike Naomi. Here is another um Oh, uh, Ricky Iliganga. And there we have 
of uh, Keith Navai. Yeah. Uh, Day of Judgment from the Ngozi family. There is uh, Ricky Eleganga again, great guitarist. And uh, ah, there we go. I just happened to make it in there, but that, that's a good one. Uh, Ricky Eleganga, Zambia, which is probably the premiere. Lords of Acid. And it's just a beat up. It made it from the flood, but look, I still have Buddy Guy's autograph on there. I had him autograph a, a few albums. And, well, I can't put a record really in that one, but that did make it. So those are my really, all my really expensive albums. I have room in here, so I'll probably put in some of these not so expensive albums. Uh, yeah, we're set up here. I'm pretty excited. Uh, to have this done. There's just a lot of empty rack in here now. I have my office desk, which I will be getting rid of. You know, my printer, we'll bring that with. And I have to clean up my cleaning supplies that were in the closet, along with copy paper. So just a few little things left. I have still, it's Monday today. And so I got a few more days. I have, uh, I'm working, so I'm traveling Tuesday to Thursday. I have Saturday and Sunday, as I don't fly out till Sunday evening to try to finish up some things, including getting rid of a lot of my clothing, all my dress shirts. Those those are going to go, quite a few of them, not all of them. Uh, a couple, only a couple suits. I got a closet full of suits. And I, I have my, uh, my, my funeral suit, the one that when I drop dead, I want to be put in. I just have to make sure I keep this right, which is a little heavier, but I still fit into it. So we got to work on that so I don't have to buy another suit. Just trying to be economical. So I, that's... What we got for uh, moving out? All of the boxes are labeled with letters. And I put, so I know what's in there. This is letter N, this is letter G. So when I bring, when they get into the house, I know where I need to go with them, okay? And that way, they're, they are organized that way and I put them in order. So I should be able to just put them out and put them onto the shelf. Should be fast and simple. That's my hope with this. Uh, it's been a, has not been a fun experience, but it has to be done. I have my uh, stereo equipment. I'll probably get that, you know, uh, taken care of on Sunday. You know, I couldn't wait as long as I can so I can play music, though most of it's boxed up now. So, yeah. But these albums that I'm keeping are my favorite. I'll just play those. So thank you for coming along for this ride. It's been interesting trying to do this. Not Again, not, not the most fun thing I've ever done, but it's necessary. And it, it is a labor of love. I got rid of uh, two boxes of records. I'm uh, bringing down the credit. And, you know, Jim was willing to mail to me and he gets some good stuff. So, you know, we'll, we'll always be in touch because we have our, um, we, we do have our podcast that we will continue to do. Just we're going to do it apart now. So thanks for coming along. And uh, look forward to showing you my brand new record room. As I'm looking at houses, I'll probably, the plan is hopefully to show some footage of maybe this will be the new record room. We can all look at it together. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye.